degeneration and regeneration of nerve fibers introduction when a nerve fiber is injured various changes occur in the nerve fiber and nerve cell body all these changes are together called degenerative changes causes of injury injury to nerve fiber occurs due to following causes obstruction to blood flow local injection of toxic substances crushing of nerve fiber transection of nerve fiber so this is the image of degener degeneration and regeneration of nerve fibers degree of injury sunderland has classified that injury of two nerve fibers into five categories depending upon the order of severity first degree first degree injury is most common type of injury to the nerves it is caused by applying pressure over a nerve for a short period leading to occlusion occlusion of blood flow and hypoxia by first degree of injury axon is not destroyed but mild demyelination occurs it is not a true degeneration axon loses the function temporarily for a short period which is called conductive block the function returns within few hours to few weeks first degree of injury is called sudden neuropraxia second degree second degree is due to prolonged severe pressure which causes valerian degeneration however the endoneurism is intact repair and restoration of functions takes about 18 months second degree of injury is called axonotomesis third degree this is called the endoneurism is interrupted aponeurism and peroneurism are intact after degeneration the recovery is slow and poor or incomplete third fourth or fifth degree of injury are called neurotomesis fourth degree this type of injury is more severe aponeurism and peroneurism are called are also interrupted fascicle of nerve fibers are disturbed and disorganized regeneration is poor or incomplete third degree third degree of injury involves complete transaction of nerve trunk with loss of continuity useful regeneration is not possible unless the cut ends are rearranged and approximated quickly by surgery degenerative changes in the neuron degeneration occurs to deterioration of impairment or pathological changes of a injury tissue when a peripheral nerve fibers is injured the degenerative changes occurs in the nerve cell body and the nerve fibers of same neuron and the adjoining neuron according accordingly degenerative changes are classified into three types valerian degeneration retrograde de degeneration and transneuronal degeneration valerian degeneration or orthograde degeneration valerian degeneration is a pathological change that occurs in the distal cut end of nerve fiber it is named after a discoverer waller it is also called orthograde degeneration valerian degeneration starts within 24 hours of injury changes occurs throughout the length of distal part of nerve fiber simultaneously retrograde degeneration retrograde degeneration is a pathological changes which occurs in nerve cell body and axon proximal to the cut end transneuronal degeneration if an afferent nerve fiber is cut the degenerative change occurs in the neuron with which the afferent nerve fibers synapses it is called neuro it is called transneuronal degeneration degeneration example or mentioned below regeneration of nerve fibers the term regeneration refer to regrowth of lost or destroyed part of tissues 
the injured or degenerated nerve fibers can regenerate. It starts as early as fourth day after injury but becomes more effective only after 30 days and it is completed in about 80 days. Criteria for regeneration Regeneration is possible only if certain criteria are fulfilled by the degenerated nerve fiber. Gap between the cut and how the nerve should not exceed 3 mm. Neurilemia should be present as neurilemia is absent in CNS. The regeneration of nerve do not occur in CNS. Nucleus must be intact. If it is excreted from nerve cell body, the nerve is atrophied and regeneration do not occur. Two cut end should remain in the same line. Regeneration do not occur if any one end is moved away. Stages of regeneration. First, some pseudo fodia like extension grow from the proximal end, end of the nerve. These extensions are called fibrous or regenerative support. The number of fibrils is about 100. Fibrils move towards the distal cut end of the nerve fiber. Some of the fibrils and neurilima tube of distal end and proximal axis cylinder. Swan cell line up in the neurilima tube and actually guide the fibrils into the tube. Swan cell also synthesize nerve growth factor which attract the fibrils from proximal segment. Axis cylinder is fully estimated inside the neurilimal tube. These process are completed in about 3 months after injury. Myelin seed is formed by Swan cell slowly. Myelination is completed in one year. Diameter of nerve fiber gradually increases. However, the degenerated nerve fibers obtain only 80% of original diameter. Newly formed internodules are also shorter than the original ones. In the nerve cell body, first the nasal granules appears followed by Golgi apparatus. Cell loses the excess fluid nucleus occupying the central portion. Through anatomical regeneration occurs in the nerve functional recovery occurs after a long period. So this is all about degeneration and regeneration of nerve fibers.